Luis. I am Luis. My guide <laughs> for the pyramids. Yeah. Tail T Is exactly. that how you pronounce it? Exactly. Excellent. Place of the gods. Place of the gods. Yeah. So how long ago were these built, or do you know? Do we know exactly? Well, the first uh, the, the city began. Teotihuacanos began to build a real city. Like you said, it's around 200 before Christ. Yeah. Uh, and it was inhabited 900 years. 900 years? Yes, around 700 AD it was abandoned. Okay. So Teotihuacanos lived here 900 years in a real city, like your cities with blocks, streets, markets, palaces, schools, and drainage. And this, this predates Aztec? It's pre-Aztec. Pre-Aztec, right? Teotihuacanos didn't meet to Aztecs. It's older than Aztecs and was bigger than Aztecs. Mm. Central Americans didn't use wheels. And they didn't know horses, donkeys or bulls. They constructed a city only to walk. Just as a, a walking city? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't use wheels. Okay. They didn't know big animals. Right. So they constructed a city, a real city, only for walking. That's cool. <laughs> Lots of walking. <laughs> so that's part of the a piece of the wall. This is part of the city. Mm -hmm. This city was a real city. It's one part of the city. With volcanic glasses like this one. So they didn't invent or make metals, but they made tools out of the volcanic glass. And volcanic stones. Volcanic stones. Wood. Yeah, Bone. wood. Bone. With those materials, the Diocanus made tools and weapons. But Tools and weapons. Yeah. Yeah. But this material was the most important one and they used because it's the sharpest volcanic glass in the world. The sharpest glass in the world, the, obs yeah. the obsidian? Yeah. Okay. You carve it with your coin, it's the fade. And look it. It's really sharp. Do you want to cut something? Your beard? My beard? No way. <laughs> okay. Can you hold it? Here. Here. Strong. Please. I will try to... Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, very sharp. It's very really sharp. Yeah. So they didn't know metals, but they found close to here, 12 kilometers away, obsidian mines. So the city was covered with the stucco? Yeah. That's, no, that's no. the white material? First, yeah. they covered with this material. We call it stucco, this right. is material. But the last layer, look at was polished with limestone. A oh, limestone? Yeah. Okay. So Teotihuacanos didn't see stones. They saw at least white walls. White walls. This is original, this floor. This one. This, this is original floor? This one, yes. That okay. one is original as well. Yeah. Still is able to see limestone over here. Yep, some limestone there. Yeah. Where people can get a tequila. From that agave, we can head. We so can that's so sorry. That agave that you got alcohol from is not is different than um, where you get tequila from. Yeah, it's a fermented drink. Fermented drink. Okay. Yes, and from one agave, we can get around one thousand liters of that fermented drink. A thousand liters from of that cactus. fermented drink from one agave. Yeah. Plant? How big is the plant? Or? It's like a two and a half meters high. Okay. And it produces six liters every day for six, six months. Six liters a day for six months. Yeah. Can you still get it now? I think so. <laughs> I think so. We can get it, but outside. Right. Yeah. Six Canadian dollars. Yeah. We will be happy the whole day. <laughs> So there, there used to be temples on top of the pyramids? Need to one. Okay. When you see pyramids in Central America, in yeah. Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Salvador, all of them were bases of temples. Okay. Even the small ones like this, so th they had on top of temples. So, so actually the pyramids are like a base for the actual temple. Exactly. This is the seventh one. 
inside there are six pyramids more because Central Americans constructed pyramids on top of pyramids. So Central Americans built pyramids on top of pyramids yeah. on top of pyramids. So there's actually six pyramids inside this, yes. which is the seventh pyramid. Yes, they were found 23 years ago. Wow. And in Mexico City, in Templo Mayor, Mexicas or Aztecs, they built as well seven pyramids like this one. So you will see, if you visit Temple Mayor in Mexico City next to the cathedral, you will see walls after walls, because they constructed like this, seven pyramids. So this was just discovered 23 years ago by a Japanese archaeologist? Saburo Sugiyama is his name. But Aztec said, this is the center of the universe, and the most sacred place of the universe. Aztec said, this place only could be constructed by gods or giants, and they called it Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, that's the, the words, for, or the meaning of those words. Uh, place of the gods. Place of the gods, and, okay. And the name was given by the Aztec. Aztecs. So, so the Aztecs named it Teotihuacan. Yes. Not only Teotihuacan, this pyramid, Aztecs named it Pyramid of the Moon. Pyramid of the Moon? That one pyramid of the sun. Pyramid of the Sun. And the main street, a street or Avenue of the Dead. Avenue of the Dead. So okay. the names were given by the Aztecs but at least 600 years after its collapse. Wow. Because according to a legend, they were looking for a sign, an eagle eating a serpent on top of one cactus. An eagle eating a serpent on top of a cactus? Yes. That Have was... you seen that one? I don't know. And Mexican flag. <laughs> oh, right. And Mexican coins. Okay. <laughs> you can see an eagle eating a serpent, a rattlesnake, on top of one cactus. Will you find an eagle eating a serpent on top of one cactus? That is a sacred place. I have chosen it for you. So that's a sign of a sacred place. Yes. So over there you have to build a temple for me and you city to live. They didn't find that sign over here. Mm. They continued walking and they found an eagle eating a serpent in Mexico City. So the echo should sound like a bird? Yes. But it's only echo. Right. Central Americans didn't want to imitate birds. They didn't clap like us. They clapped like they used to clap like this. Mm. Right? Did you hear that? Yes, yes. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, yeah. you have to clap exactly in front of the steps. Facing uh, it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. You're right, yeah. It's only really cool. Let's see. Don't talk. Louder. <laughs> That's just, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, really interesting. Can you tell me that again about the the painting, the water-based paint? So how do you know that it was water painting? When you see wavy lines, means water. Okay. Movement of water, right? Can you see over there uh, wavy lines with a circle, like an ice? Yes. Yep. In Central America, spring waters, yep. we call them waters ice. Okay. So it means that water comes from spring waters. Okay. On okay. the upper part, can you see some wavy lines as well? Yep. That kind of line we call them grecas. Okay. And those ones represent like the waves of the sea. Right. In the north houses, it's able to see them with seashells and sea conches. Right. So all of them represent the waves of the sea. So because of the waviness of the the movement in, of water, that indicates that it was water-based painting. Yeah. Okay. And it is, it's, even today, if you say some guy, can you paint water? They will, all of them, people, all the people will paint wavy lines. This kind of stone mean was reconstructed. Right, so the areas with the small beads throughout, yeah. that is, has been, that indicates it's been reconstructed or restored. Not only over here, yeah. in every archaeological place in central, in Mexico. Okay, and then the areas here without those are the original yeah. walls. So you can kind of see 
which was original, which was has been restored. Yeah, and the steps they still preserve stucco, so it means those ones are original. When Asus came here, they have no idea who will this place. Yeah, they were really amazed because they didn't have seen something like this one. Right. They name it Sun and Moon because they said many years ago when there was not sun, when there was not moon, when the world was dark, all of gods came here to Teotihuacan to create the fifth sun. This yeah. is a fifth element as well. Movement. Fifth element? Yeah, movement. Movement. Yeah, it's exactly in the center of the Aztec calendar. The center of the Aztec calendar. Luis, I just want to say thank you for this amazing tour. It was super, super informative, super knowledgeable. Thank you very much. I really appreciate so it. Thanks so much, Dylan. I hope to see you again over here in this dream or in our life.